this morning we're going to make a really beautiful um, same day or one day sourdough loaf so in order to make a sourdough loaf in the same day you've got to kind of know a few tips and tricks to, to make it work so we'll show you those now as we go through the process and first of all we're going to kind of mix up 600 grams of this is organic bread flour over there okay that's good there so that's pretty close to 600 grams and then 450 grams of water right so mix up so what you're gonna do now because we're Kind of like a little bit kind of we're short of time here so really working against the clock to make this work so we have a lovely loaf of bread for the evening or late afternoon we're going to now go through we're going to autolyze but only for like a quarter of an hour so we'll mix that now because we want to get the fermentation process going as soon as we can so we'll mix this up now as i say we'll leave this for 15 minutes once this is all mixed up so again don't worry about kneading all it really is here is just getting the water mixed up Flour. So I'm using organic um, Shipton Mill bread flour here. So this is this will give us a lovely loaf, and also it'll help the development as we're doing it in just the one day. So really, that's kind of good there. So you probably want to get your hands in just for a minute, just to quickly move that around in here, so you get all the flour mixed up. There you go, that's great. So now basically, go and have a cup of tea, come back in 15 minutes time, and we'll then go for the next bit of the process. So I'll catch you then. Okay, great, that's been quarter of an hour. So as I say, saying, we reduced that right down. So just kind of a quick look and just see how much gluten we've actually got in that time. So you can see in here, like in 15 minutes, actually, we've actually got some pretty good, we've got quite a good window pane. So not perfect, but you know, allowing for the fact that we've had 15 minutes now, we've already got some dough strength going on in there. So, next thing to do is to add in some, get our salt. So this is gonna be 12 grams of salt to add in. So kind of 2% is what I'm gonna go for. Here we go. Okay, so that's two grams of salt. And then 120 grams of starters this is from last night nice and bubbly so i kind of know all that is from this jar quantity wise beautiful so just that's enough in the jar for the next mix really so that's so, so gorgeous and then just kind of go through there and mix it in so again we're not needing here all we're doing is mixing the starter and the salt in until we've got it all combined together So we go, that's all mixed in. So it looks like a really shaggy mass there, but it's that's absolutely fine. So we're gonna leave that now for half an hour and come back to it and then get some dough strength in, do some stretching folds. So come back in half an hour.
Right, that's great. That's been about half an hour now. So um, we'll go through and do some stretching pods. But first thing we're going to do is just kind of check how the gluten development is and just have a, do a quick window pane test. And just wet your fingers slightly. And just have a quick look in here and just see how what we're doing. So as you can see there, that's really already, we've got really good dose strength in there as we're at this stage of the game. So really pleased with that. So what we'll do now is we'll do a, some, do a set of stretch and folds. So I just wet my hands, always wet your hands when you touch the dough, just lightly. So you're gonna put those, just gonna scoop it out of the bowl like this. Okay. And then wrap it around my hand like this to stretch it through like that. You're gonna be quite quick with it. You don't want to stick to your hands and then make it into a nice ball and then you go. And then if you want to as well, just to make sure you're good, if you want to make it into a nice little ball to make it look nice and neat, or just to give it a little bit of a stretch over again. And this kind of gives you a feel really for how, how tall it's getting. So, you know, you, you can't overdo this. So, you know, when you're starting out, it's really good to touch a dough like this, just to get a feeling for how it's developing as it goes through the process. So you can feel that it's really quite tight still, which is what you want, because you just turn a stretch and fold. If it wasn't, you'd be a little bit concerned. So there we go. So that's looking really good. So we'll let, you can see now, kind of, as it's been stretched, it's starting to relax. And it'll do that again for the next hour. So we'll come back to this now in an hour's time and go through the next stage of stretch and fold. And that will be the last one there. Because we're on a tight, well, not that we're on a shorter time frame here, making it a day. We're going to just do two sets of stretch and folds to make this work. So right, I'll be back in an hour's time. Okay, great. So this is the now the second set of stretch and folds. So I'll, do, I'll go through the same process as we did last time and um, do the stretch and folds. So let's have a look at it. So, okay, so let's relax quite a bit in there. Uh, wet my hands and do the same process as last time. Just go through and release it from the bowl. See, it's actually getting quite nice and silky now. And then just go through, put it around your hand, put it around your hand there. You can feel it getting t kind of tighter already as you do that. You don't want to kind of tear it. So once you're happy, that's about as far as it's going to go. Put it back in the bowl again. And you can see already, you know, there's kind of bubbles appearing on there. So again, just just kind of, it's really quite taut. And we can do a quick window pane test on here as well. And already, that's really well already. Actually, this is its last set of stretch and fold. So it really is, you know, that's really great now. Window pane test is great. You can see right through there. So yeah, really happy with that. And so don't be afraid to touch it and just kind of feel like you'll know now touching that how silky it is, and it feels like you know it's come together. It's got good dose strength to it. And so what we're gonna do now is basically we'll, we'll leave that for between four and five hours to prove. So it, it's four or five hours depending on the temperature. So, you know, if you're 19 degrees, it'll probably be five hours. If you're like 24 degrees, it could be like four hours. But we'll show you as we go through here, just kind of doing a, like a prod test, just to kind of see how much it stretches back on us. So there you go, so we'll leave that now, somewhere kind of warmish in the house. I think we're about 22 degrees at the moment there, so we'll come somewhere in the middle there. So we'll leave that, I'll come back in about four or five hours time and I'll show you the next part of the process. So thanks for watching and um, catch you later. All right, great, back again then. So it's been about four hours now, so we'll kind of have a look through and just see if it's finished the process, the proving process. So first of all, we're gonna do the kind of the, the prod test on here, just see what happens. So just wet, wet finger or two and just see what happens when you prod it. So you can see there, the indent's kind of coming back very slowly on there. You need really quite a wet finger to be able to make it, it doesn't stick. So you can see in here, it's quite bubbly as well. So I'd say now that's actually at the point now where that's that's been so just over four hours. So that's look, looking to me as though it's ready to actually go through its process. So to shape it up and put it into a bandsaw. So. See some nice little bubbles appearing on top. So I'm really happy now. So all I'm gonna do now is um, go over here and get organized to, to, to shape it and put it into a banneton. And I'm gonna put it into the fridge for an hour or two just to kind of give it some solidity to it. So it's help it for baking. So I'll come back now in a few minutes time, which I'm organized and we'll, we'll fold it and put that up. Okay, great. Okay, that's great. So I'm back. So we've got some rice flour here. I'm going to use a few sunflower seeds to put on top. Look at lots of lovely texture and flavour. So first of all, I'm going to go through and put some rice flour on the bannet on. Give it a really good liberal 
sprinkle over. Just really good like that. A little bit on the bench as well, not too much, just a little bit on the bench. In here. Okay. Right, and I'll go through and just gonna out of the so it's coming out pretty nice and easily. It's a good sign, so it's not sticking to the sides. That's looking really good. So we can go through now and just do some do a just stretch it and fold it. So we'll move like this, stretch it over like that, stretch it over like that, like this. There you go, that's beautiful. Yeah, a little bit sticky, but not too bad. Just wash my hands. I'm going to put a few seeds down on here. Like that. And pick that up from here. And you get a nice coating of seeds. Here from there. And then into. Into the middle, it's all in here. That's great. Just tuck it over, give it some little tucks over the top like this. Tuck it in. That's beautiful. Like that. Nice and wobbly. And then we go around the outside now with some rice flour. Help it stop sticking like this. Fantastic. And now I'm going to cover this up. I'm going to put it in there, then in the fridge for about two hours. Just to kind of, in the coldest part of the fridge, you could use the freezer for 20 minutes, but I've got time now to put it in the fridge for two hours, let it kind of cool down and set and kind of get nice and hard for the next part of the process for, for baking. So I'll put this on the top here, put that in the fridge and um, come back um, in around about two hours time. That's great. Right, that's great. So we're ready to um, to bake. So the loaf's in the fridge. The oven's been on there heating up. That's been at 240 for about half an hour heating up. Got my alarm here, some lima flour, some ice cubes on there. And so I'll get the loaf out of the oven and then we'll get it in the Dutch oven. So and the most important thing that I've been doing this really, I've like mentioned before, this is the most important thing, really good gloves. So get those ready to go. And let's get the loaf out of the fridge. Right, so this has had two hours in the fridge in the coldest part of the fridge. So, similarly, the flour in, stops it from sticking. Go loaf in, in there, fast as we can, put a big slash on there. Right, we're in, so that's great. So they'll be in the oven now for 20 minutes at 240. And then we'll put it down to about 210 for another 20 minutes. So there we go. So I'll catch back with you in 20 minutes time. Well, great, that's been 20 minutes now. So we'll get out of the oven there and see what we've got. Well, that's fantastic. Really got it blown to a big size there. Lovely crumb on there. So back in the oven again for 20 minutes. I'll turn the oven down to 210. And this one I go in there for another 20 minutes. Right, so that's been another 20 minutes in the oven. 
Um, I'll pull it out and we'll have a look and, and see what we've got. So it's looking really good through the glass door of the oven. Wow, well, that's really, that's risen beautifully and it smells absolutely delicious. You can see that on there very well. So nice crumb on here, probably hasn't got the same lip as you would do if you left it overnight in the, in the fridge to, to long ferment. But that is absolutely gorgeous. That's crispy, crunchy, lovely seeds on the outside. I'm really pleased actually. So that was started this morning, reasonably late this morning. And by half past five this afternoon, you've got a beautiful loaf of sourdough bread to enjoy. So that's great. So there are a few compromises here, I guess. We might find the flavour, because it's had less time to mature in the fridge. The flavour could be slightly different, maybe slightly less um, sourdoughy, kind of tangy to it. Uh, maybe a little bit less lift than you would get in, normally on there. And crumb probably not quite so open as it would do if it had the, um, the long ferment in the fridge. But I think on the whole, you know, to make, be able to make a beautiful loaf of sourdough bread from late morning and have it ready for your evening meal or for friends coming over or whatever, it's fantastic. So I'll take that off of here. We'll hop. And it's beautiful. So really pleased with that. I think, you know, as far as like a, um, a one day sourdough that's fantastic really you know you're going to have lovely fresh bread the same day as when you started um so yeah really pleased so this is going to be really hot so i'll just kind of give it a quick few angles around to show you different sides to it feels really light which means you know it's really really well rated um absolutely gorgeous so i don't think we'll have more than probably half of it tonight <laughs> But I'm sure we're going to enjoy that with our dinner because it's a beautiful loaf of bread. And thanks for watching. So when I when I get into it, I'll take a few shots to just kind of show you the crumb inside to have a look there. I'm sure you're interested. And and thanks for watching. So um, I'd like to kind of play around a little bit more in the future with this idea of making the same day same day sourdough and see what the difference is and tweak it a little bit. So thanks for that. Enjoy and get out and make your own. Okay, that's great. So that's had a chance to um, cool down on the rack. And so looking forward to cutting into it and um, having a look. So here we go. Some Frenchy. There we go. Beautiful life. Lovely aerated in there. Looks fantastic. So that's really done well actually. So that's, a, that's the one day life. So that's just got a, got a slice out from here. Very really pleased with that. gorgeous well we'll enjoy that now with our on the tonight so get in there and, and, um, and make a one day life and um, enjoy <laughs>